time. I just wonder what it's going to do to the racetrack. Well, here comes the fire crew. You see the red uh, truck bottom of the screen. Well, They've got to get that out. Something about the having a jet engine the racing surface. That's with all kinds of jet fuel. fuel it's on fire. Uh, it can well, the cars are going fire. around. It is commonplace huh. for track safety, rescue, track Look drive vehicles to circulate the track under a caution flag. Drivers must maintain reasonable speed while catching up the pack and avoid those emergency vehicles. They're brightly lit and everything. That's easy to do when you can be under control of your race car. I just wonder if Montoya was going down the back catching up with the field and he didn't know the safety truck was up there. They called him on the radio and said, watch that safety truck. And the car darted hard right. Something had to happen. I saw sparks underneath. The car yeah. broke, and I don't believe he had steering control. I don't either. I mean, the looked, car went up the track. When you see the sparks come out from the car, it just looks like it had a flat tire or something happened to it. It was the jet dryer, I guess they call it. I don't know how many gallons of jet fuel that thing holds, but I guarantee you it's got several gallons in it. Several, <laughs> probably a hundred. Track personnel exited uh, that cleanup truck very quickly after the collision and walked away. That, that's got to be that's got to be eating the track up. I just wonder what it's going to do to it, Larry. Yeah, that's uh, that fire has been burning for quite a while now. And let's reiterate: Juan Pablo Montoya climbed from his car and walked quickly away. The car destroyed. Look at that, the fire. So much jet fuel that it's cruising down the incline. Blazing in turn number three. Oh, Darrell, I keep going explosion. back. We just had gotten a report. They were telling me in my ear that Montoya had a bad vibration in every gear he was putting it in. So something was going on with that 42 car. The race has been red flagged. That means the cars have been stopped well away from the turn three scene. They've been red flagged on the back straightaway, and you're looking at what happens when 200 gallons of jet fuel meet a spark, or something very hot after a collision like that. Yeah, that thing just burst into flame. I mean, it was unbelievable. Still trying to get it under control. And, and you know, I, I would say Maybe they could drive it down off the track, but if you look, the pass the driver's door is caved in. Uh, I don't think you can even get in the vehicle if you were brave enough to try it. Now we've just had pit stops. Everyone from fifth place on back has stopped. Dave Blaney did not pit under this caution, along with Landon Castle, Tony Raines, and David Gilliland. They are the race leaders. As we are under the red flag, Blaney driving for the. Tom Baldwin Jr. team. Castle with a brand new ride, and Reigns, who just got a ride a few weeks ago into the Daytona 500 with teammate the Gilliland at Front Row Motorsports. They are the race leaders under this red flag for a bizarre incident entering turn number three. When Indy 500 and Monaco Grand Prix winner won Pablo Montoya, Went down the back straightaway. Something on the car broke from the sparks underneath. Lost control of the steering and slid up into the trailer uh, that held that jet helicopter engine, which was blowing debris off the racetrack while we were under caution. Yeah, as far as the drivers that pitted, Matt Kenseth in the 17, who had been leading, he won the battle off pit road. Just, I mean, that car is destroyed. Look at Montoya's car. More fire trucks going to the scene. Now that's the front of the race car. Uh, it hit the trailer, which went up in the air, and the race car pretty much submarined underneath it. Most bizarre thing I've ever seen. Watch Montoya's car on this replay as we try to discern what may have broken. Here he, we're under car. Here he comes back. Here you can see him coming. Jet dryer's up high. He's. Sees the, the safety truck flashing its lights, sparks fly, and around he goes. Wow. Look at this explosion. Here's a, here's a different angle. See the safety trucks up top? Wow. 
I mean, it just exploded. When he hit it, it just exploded. And he was traveling at a high rate of speed oh, yeah. trying to catch back trying up to catch with up the, field. the back of the field. Toya climbs away, and the driver of the safety truck was helped from his vehicle, walked down the banking, and away. We have some audio from Juan Pablo Montoya.